Good day everyone. My name is Ijilita May Molina, a student nurse. So today I am going to discuss about the measures of position, which are the quartile, decile, and the percentile for the ungroup data. Just like what I've said, I will be discussing the quartile, decile, and the percentile. So let's proceed first to the quartile. So quartile, from the word itself, it is sorted into four quarters. A quartile is a statistical term that describes a division of observation into four defined intervals based on the values of the data and how they compare to the entire set of observations. So as we can see in the figure, Q1 is also known as the first quartile, Q2 is the second quartile, Q3 is the third quartile or also known as the upper quartile. So next is the formulas. So these are the standard formulas for the quartile. So we have Q1, 0.25 times n plus 1. For the Q2, 0.5 times n plus 1. And for the Q3, 0.75 times n plus 1. So always remember that we have the rules about the quartile. So if the lower quartile or Q1 is falls halfway between two integers, we should round up the answers. For the Q2, like what I've said earlier, 0.50 times n plus 1. So, if the Q3 or upper quartile falls halfway between two integers, we should round down the answer. So, we have the example here. So, find the quartiles of the Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following data. So, first, we will um, arrange this according to the ascending arrangement. So, for the ascending arrangement, we have 20, 22, 23, 25, 30, 32, and 36. Therefore, the number of data is 7. So, for the Q1, um, the formula is 0 0.25 times n plus 1. So, 0 0.25 times 7 plus 1. So, we will add first what is inside the um, parentheses. So, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 times 0.25 so equals to 2 so our q1 is 2 so for the q2 our formula is 0.50 times n plus 1 so 0.50 times 7 plus 1 so like what i've said we will add first what inside the parentheses so 7 plus 1 is equals to 8 times 0.50 is equals to 4 so our q2 is equals to 4 so for the q3 our formula is 0.75 times n plus 1. So, 0 0.75 times 7 plus 1 is equals to 0 0.75 times 8. So, 0 0.75 times 8 is equals to 6. So, our Q3 is 6. So, the Q1 in the following data is 22. The Q2 is 25 and the Q3 is 32. So, we have example number 2 here. So, find the quartiles of the Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following data. So, we will first um, arrange according to the ascending arrangement. So, you can stop this video to answer the problem number 2. So, let's check your answer. The ascending arrangement is 23, 29, 32, 42, 48, 52, 56, 58, 69, 72, and 88. So, the number of data is 11. So, for the Q1, we have the... 3 and for the Q2 the answer is 6 and for the Q3 the answer is 9. So the Q1 in according to the following data is 32. For the Q2 is 52 and for the Q3 is 69. So who got the correct answer? So you can comment down below. So let's proceed for the last example. So find the quartiles of the Q1, Q2 and Q3 of the following data. So you can post this video again so you can answer the, uh, the problems. So the number of data is 9. So for the Q1, the answer is 2.5 or 3. So just like what I've said, we have the rules about this. So for the Q1, we will round up the answer. So for the Q2 is 5 and for the Q3 is 7.5 or 7. So for just like what I've said earlier, for the Q3, we will round down the answer if it has um, decimal point. 
Let's proceed to the next topic, the decile. So deciles are similar to quartiles, but quartiles sort data into four quarters while the decile from the word itself, deca meaning it sort data into 10 parts. So as we can see in the figure, so for the D1 of first decile, D2 is second decile, D3 is the third decile, and so on and so forth. For the formula, dk is equals to k over 10 or divided by 10 times n plus 1. So let's try this example. So find the deciles d1, d5, and d8 of the following data. So we will arrange the following data according to the ascending arrangement. So we have 20, 22, 23, 25, 30, and 32, and 36. So you can post this video so that you can answer this problem. So let's see the answer for the D1 is 0.8 or 1. So for the D5 is 4. For the D8 is 6.4 or 6. So the D1 is 20, the D5 is 25, and our D8 is 32. So who got the correct answer? So let's proceed to the second example. Find the decile D4, D7, and D9 of the following data. So since it is already arranged, so we don't need to arrange this again. So you can post this video so that you can answer this problem. Let's see the answer. So for the D4, 4.8 or 5. For the D7, 8.4 or 8. And for the D9 is 10.8 or 11. So the D4 according to the following data is 28. For the D7 is 39. And for the D9 is 52. So who got the correct answer? So let's proceed to the next topic which is the percentile. Percentiles are the values that divided into 100 parts. So for the formula, PK is equals to K over 100 and times to the n plus 1. So let's try this example. So find the percentiles 8, P50, and P85 of the following data. So we can arrange this again according to the ascending arrangement. And you can post this video so that you can answer this problem. So let's see the answer for the ascending arrangement 20, 22, 23, 25, 30, 32, and 36. So we have um, the number of data 7. So P8 is equals to 0.64 or 1. So for the P50 is equals to 4. And for the P85 is 6.8 or 7. So the P8 according to the following data is 20. So for the P50 is 25. And for the P85 is 36. So that's all. Thank you for joining me today. So again, I am Ijelita Mimolina from BSN 2A.